Hey, if you've never hooked up to a trailer before, the process can be a little intimidating, but it really doesn't have to be. I'm gonna show you the basic steps it takes to be able to hook up effectively and confidently. So the next time you wanna hook up and tow, you can do it with confidence. So the first step is you wanna position the ball on the hitch that's connected to your tow vehicle properly underneath the coupler and tongue of the trailer. So when you get ready to back your tow vehicle up underneath, you wanna make sure you're in a straight line and you're even as it comes up underneath the coupler here. And another thing you need to pay attention to before you do that is make sure the trailer tongue is high enough so the ball actually clears underneath it. If it's not, you simply raise it using the jack on your trailer. And again, make sure you back up in a straight line and stop the ball perfectly underneath that coupler where it can set down on it nicely. Okay, the next step is to make your final push with your tow vehicle and get the ball positioned correctly underneath the tongue of the trailer. So right here, I'm about two feet away. I can get inside the truck, leave the door open and look out on the ground and pick me out a mark. Maybe it's a little rock or thick piece of grass I can look at and reference and know when I back about two feet from that grass, put the truck in park, I can pull back out, see where I'm at, make any small adjustments if I need to from there. Now, if you've got a buddy with you, he can obviously stand back here and you can look at, through your mirror or look over your shoulder and he can tell you exactly how far to come back, go left or right to get the ball positioned. Once you get it positioned, you're ready to go to the next step. Okay, I've backed the truck up. I've got the ball positioned just right underneath the trailer tongue. Now we need to lower the trailer tongue down onto the ball. Before I do that, I wanna make sure I've got the correct size ball for the trailer that I'm using. I've checked that, it says two inches right here and I've got a two inch ball position on the tow and stow there from BMW. Next, you wanna make sure your latch on your trailer coupler is open, up and open before you lower it down. So I'm good to go there. So let's go ahead and lower it down and position the trailer on the ball. Okay, we've got the trailer lowered down onto the ball properly. The next step is going to be secure the coupler latch mechanism, followed by putting the safety pin in through there. I'll take the safety pin out of the way, get it moved. Now I'm gonna grab this latch right here, this lever, press forward on that coupler mechanism, that latch mechanism on the coupler, puts it securely down over there, slide the pin through and secure it and we're good to go. That pin is going to stop that latch from opening in any way when you're going down the road tow. The next step is going to be hooking up the safety chains. A couple things to pay attention to here. You're gonna wanna cross them. So I've got the right one on the right side of the trailer, left one on the left side of the trailer. Cross them underneath the tongue, connecting them from the rear. Hook up the left one to the right hole on the truck and vice versa. The right one on the trailer to the left hole on the truck, that's gonna cross the chains. The reason you cross the chains is it's giving you an extra point of safety there. In case the trailer was to come off the ball while towing, those cross chains are gonna catch that tongue. It doesn't allow that trailer tongue to be dragging the ground down the road you're pulling. Now, the next thing you need to pay attention to with the chains is how low to the ground or how off the ground are they. You wanna be kind of midway. You don't wanna be too, too tight up too close to the tongue of the trailer, but you don't wanna be dragging the pavement either. So hooking up the safety chains, guys, definitely an important step that you wanna pay attention to. Okay, the next step's a simple one, guys. Hooking up your lights, really easy to do. I'll take my connector here, it's a five pin, secure it in with my five pin receiver there. You always wanna make sure you've got the proper connectors between your tow vehicle and your trailer so you've got a proper hookup so your lights are working. Now we wanna check the lights. We wanna make sure we've got tail lights, a left signal and a right signal. You can do that by yourself or with a buddy. Once you determine you've got properly working left and right signals and you know you got brake lights because they work off the same circuit. You're good to go there once you know you got lights. The final step is to go ahead and raise up your jack to make sure you've got good clearance. Some trailers have a swing jack. You simply pull the pin, raise it up parallel to the trailer and it's out of the way. Whatever kind of jack you do have on your trailer, bottom line is get it pulled up as far away from the ground as possible, give you plenty of clearance for safety when you're towing. The last thing you wanna do is check everything and make sure you're good. Make sure everything is properly secured and safe. So I've got the coupler down on the ball, 
the latch mechanism is closed over the coupler. We've got the safety pin through the latch mechanism here. That's not going to allow that coupler to pop off. We've got our safety chains hooked properly, crossed underneath with the right amount of distance between the chains and the ground. We've got our lights hooked up using the proper connectors, the proper pin connectors that match up. We've checked our lights to make sure we've got turn signals, tail lights, and brake lights. And lastly, we've got the jack all the way up as high as it'll go to provide maximum clearance from the road when we're towing. So that's it, guys. Several steps right there. You learn how to do those with confidence and you'll be able to hook up and tow and have a great experience doing it.